We're joined by a wildlife expert Nigel Marvin, live from the British Wildlife Centre in Surrey. With some red squirrels, Aww. you found one. I mean, lots of people saying they haven't even seen one. They only ever see the grey ones. Uh, morning to you. What is it that you want us all to do? Good morning. They, well, they are a national treasure, aren't they? And they really need protecting. There's only around 140,000 red squirrels left in the whole of Great Britain. And the Wildlife Trust have come up with this brilliant idea for citizen science where... <laughs> People can help by counting the numbers of red squirrels they see. If there's a sanctuary for red squirrels, an area of wild habitat that doesn't have grey squirrels yet, they can do recordings there. This big American invader gives these red squirrels diseases and, <laughs> and competes for food. I mean, it gets, gets your heart when you're close to them like this, these lovely oh. ear tufts and everything. We want to save our red squirrels, and so everyone needs to get involved and keep an eye out if they see them and if the, the numbers of grey squirrels they see too. But then Prince Charles appears to have an even bigger solution to the problem, doesn't he? Tell us about that. Well, there's a great solution with pine martins. So pine martins are one of the most beautiful animals in, in Britain and they feed on squirrels. Now, red squirrels are so tiny they can get right to the end of the twigs and the pine martins can't follow them, but the grey squirrels can't get away from the pine martins. So if we can get pine martins back into Britain, the Vincent Wildlife Trust are introducing them into Wales now, then they will keep the numbers of grey squirrels down. And it's the ster isn't isn't Prince Charles calling for some sort of sterilization? Contraception, I think, yes. isn't it? In chocolate to be put out for the grey squirrels. Yeah that 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 could work as well, but very, very expensive of course. I mean greys have been here since 1876. It's like, you know, a, a big load of bully boy Donald Trumps came here and started uh, you know bullying our native red squirrels and that's the problem. They they shouldn't be here. I mean Man brought them here and, you know, reds are our native species. And, you know, as you can see, I mean, they are so wonderful. Oh, I'm I mean... a bit nervous about the pine martins, though, Nigel. You're confident that we don't bring the pine martins in and that's another problem because they're then killing off other animals that we don't want killed off. That's all been worked out, has it? Yeah, no, the pine martins are a native species and they used to be found all over Great Britain, but because of being hunted for their fur, um, oh. their last stronghold is in Scotland and the Vincent Wildlife Trust and other conservation organisations are trying to get them back into the whole of Britain and they oh could solve the grey squirrel problem <laughs> naturally. Oh, can I just say, can Nigel, I, I, was really, I was really passionate about this because I love red yeah. squirrels. I love grey squirrels, but I love red squirrels. And Rambo was a bit like, yeah, OK, whatever. Now she's, like, cooing over your red I squirrel. You're sold, aren't you? You're behind yeah, the... Yeah, give that a tough tea. The, the, you, the British Wildlife Centre in Kent, anyone can come here and do this, and they, they've got their own red squirrel mascot here called Pip and um, as I say you can get really close encounters like I'm having it's it's a wonderful place to visit Can't wait. wonderful Can't stuff. Wait. thank you thank Good you. To talk to you this morning uh, so who's that squirrel's agent yeah, let's give it its own show I don't know <laughs> I don't know <laughs> the new Tufty